Just save that onto your computer. When you open it, you'll see uh, this outline structure. You recognize it from lesson plans I've done so far for our school lessons at Brayford. And on the second part, second page, it has this diagram that I've created that actually represents the whole gym uh, at Brayford. So you can see how that looks with three badminton courts on it. And the nice thing about this plan is that you can move these little characters here um, at will into any part of the gym. And you can also move the benches and the pylons and the spots. And in doing that, you can create your constructions, noting where the badminton courts are, where the basketball nets are if you want to use those. And also you have different types of sports. Now what's good about these little stick figures is you can enlarge them like that. If you want to, you can flip them around the other direction. You can make them smaller like that. And if you go up to copy, you can actually uh, paste several versions of the same little figure. And as you paste, you can create teams, obviously, just by copying and moving around the screen. Now, one thing you need to note about these little characters, and if anything ever goes wrong, just double click on them and you'll get these options. And the key thing is that if you find your characters become like tight, like this one, sometimes it comes formatting issues. So just click into in front text. And then you'll find that it's easy to move around and they don't cause any issues. That's the only time there may be a problem. So always have it as an in front of text like that. And then you just move around and place them wherever you need to create the games that you want playing using the equipment. You also notice like this one here, make it a bit bigger, has a shadow. So uh, one of the features you want to do when you're using this program is to switch on on your word and the toolbar for doing drawing. So this toolbar on the Mac, it's like this similar on the PC. And this just gives you options to add on. So if you want to add on any other shapes, you can do so. They just give you the options. And then if you double click on that, get the layout to be in front text like that. You can also play around with the colors. For instance, you can change it to wider color, or if you want to have no color at all, just the lines, it becomes a transparent, and you can move around objects like that. The other thing is, use the arrow keys here, you can pick up multiple characters, and you can just move them around as desired, or if you want to, just click on them and delete them. The other really neat thing to do, so when you finish, best idea is to group any diagrams you've done, so it just freezes it. So you've marked the text, then right click, select grouping, and go group. And then it basically freezes the picture and it won't get marked up in any formatting. And there you go, that's how to make little diagrams on your lesson plans.